shooting in in with with zero room for error. So now that we got some room for error, and like we trained intense, like going into the hyperbolic time chamber, you trained intense intensely for all that time, and then now all of a sudden, uh, you know, you have some room for error, so you can hit, man. Hey guys, it's LJ. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great contents from my daddy. Dead 2K land, man. Check this out, man. As always, full disclosure, that's yesterday's video. We went crazy. 4,000 views, uh, 76, 76 comments, man. 293 likes, man. 98 likes, man. We got to get them likes up, man. Let's get this thing to 500 likes today, man, because listen, that's the only way that we can get into the algorithm. We got to get like 200 likes before we can get to five, I mean, 1,500 views so we can get to the moon, Alice Plus, man. Hey, if you do that and you comment, you get to put up here in the Know They Gang Wall of Fame, man. This is every Everybody that comes through say first any of that good stuff man y'all boys y'all boys are, are are the real mvps one dude actually says man i struggle on my 69 power four uh on on my guard it's uh on my guard it's like a cakewalk if it's a 92 three ball or or is it a 92 three ball or me using kobe uh jumper where my power four is, is you know some other jumps or whatever like that man i ain't gonna lie to y'all man my six nine i was having some trouble shooting i'm back shooting with that now and then uh, uh austin he said austin 316 says hey I mean, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you think that it was rigged when it constantly, when they constantly change the the shooting tempos and the passes? Uh, we haven't had, we haven't been in control of our uh, CAC. I mean, okay, my, of our my player in forever. Uh, heck, I noticed my my guy making extra movements when I don't make a when I don't make a uh, move or nothing or don't even try to do something. It's just intentionally. Anyway, man, we I know what he's trying to say, man. He's just saying, man, it's been too many times when I'm not even trying to move and this dude moving, man, and I don't get why that's happening, man. And it's like, you right about that because this does seem like we're not in control of our my player far too often. And it's just crazy, man. But anyway, if y'all like the video, make sure y'all like this joint. Let's get the fifth, uh, two, 200 likes before we get to 1,500 uh, views, man. And then let's get 500 likes on the video and with all that out of the way. Yes, so What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Channel, coming to you live with another video, man. Man, it looks like Fortnite is making an assault on uh on on the gaming landscape right now man look at this right here man they got that young peter griffin right there hey with the iconic ah ah look when you take the big boss down look at it man he just dropped it it's just your knee my boy i say it's just your knee hey man listen man fortnite is making a big assault on this thing man on not only just to not only just the gaming landscape but other gaming landscapes as well all city all uh, big heck he put this out there fortnite expansion plan plans look insane man and this is what we got from the expansion plans or what have you even though this is not a fortnite joint says hey every game announces three new game uh gaming games coming to fortnite you got lego fortnite with survival crafting a uh, building game that combines lego and fortnite with vast open worlds i ain't gonna lie man that's something that i'm actually interested in i'm probably gonna be playing that because this looks fun to me man then he, he says uh lego for uh, you got rocket racing uh which is an arcade racer from site psionics uh that you know you creators the creators of rocket league okay so we already know what that you got soccer cars making a racing game Ooh! and then last but not least you got the fortnite festival a rhythm game from harmonics you know those same people that made guitar hero and stuff if i'm not mistaken oh yeah creators of rock band and they features uh music icons like eminem uh and the weekend and more or less we got some stuff like here we got to mute that music because we cannot be getting no copyrights uh, on this joint y'all couldn't hear it anyway but it's just showing you like you know like bro like you're right what are they right are they driving the car from but on top in in the superhero joint is it supposed to be like i'm in the car and then you got the person throwing stuff oh no you're just riding on top of the car i listen leave it to fortnite to make those skins relevant no matter what happens the skins in these games will be relevant and and I, I commend them for that man because it's like what's the point of having skins when you can't see them i don't want a skin for other people to see i want the skins you know for for me to see man i just think that's super dope that fortnite is doing stuff like that to you know improve the game they're not just they're not just gaming they're continuing to push the envelope all the way to the point where they got bro i don't know if this is true or not man these boys are probably just trolling or whatever <laughs> they might just be trolling or whatever man but look man i don't know it just says fortnite is planning on making a basketball game mode man and you know we all tried to do this in fortnite but it just says hey create arcade style basketball mini games to showcase entirely new new play 
uh let me see we move to we move we move past the simple toy functionality and into Fortnite version of basketball bro i don't know if this is true or not or what it's supposed to be you know people talking about you said or tomato thrown on the courts i'm dunking on people he said on to meet me on tomato town courts i'm dunking on dude for real might be better than 2k bro this is crazy man hey they say hey they i speak i speak for everyone when i say um we want the nba rights uh going from 2k to epic games bro like i said like i don't know if this is something that's real or not but like you see the little shot meter right here uh you see all this stuff man hey it could be could be not and, and, and like i said man there's communities for all that type of stuff man even um what's that game roblox got a basketball mode and that's where that coke butter cheese come from so i think a lot of people you know they are rocking with it man because when you're running into stuff like this with all big city big heck is talking about what pro play animation is this ronnie 2k intel when you when you're supposed to be the most authentic basketball game of all time with the pro play animations and we're still seeing things whoopsie daisy <laughs> we're still seeing stuff like that man it's gonna make people skeptical about it now look we don't know how to get that every time you ain't gonna get it every time it's just one of them things it's a freak move freak accident or whatever and somebody just happened to be able to catch it man but i just think it's super funny man because it's just like one of those joints where where like 2k is supposed to be the most authentic game of all time and then like you got stuff like that not only that but then i guess this adds to the authenticity man he said hey man have y'all ever had this happen to y'all that's what 2k labs is talking about man they just said look ball you know, they, they're gonna inbound the ball ball three wide open in the corner Woo! five hole why are you, are you going you're going five hole i thought he was going top shelf he's going five hole with that one man Ooh! and he fumbled that joint man now listen normally what happens is you, you you catch the ball out of bounds even though they throw the ball right here then you'll see him hold his hand up like this and he ends up three feet out of bounds or whatever like that man but hey he just fumbled that one man i ain't gonna lie to y'all speaking of fumbling man hey yeah, i know y'all saw that lebron and emu doka joint man and people was talking about lebron must have said something about him fumbling near and then people was like uh how you gonna fumble somebody that's 50. that's how you fumble something that's 50 right here first off do y'all guys not aspire to get old y'all do know that the women that you found it like okay when the women that you found attractive when you were 10 11 12 13 14 15 y'all the same age when you get 50 you will find 50 year olds attractive right you're not gonna find 20 you, you probably will still find 20 and, and 30 year olds attractive but you you kind of stay with your age group some of us don't and some of y'all you know what i'm saying y'all y'all probably need to be doggone dealt with accordingly but, but most of us we move with our age group in our 30s in, in your 20s you don't think a 38 year old is attractive but when you get 38 you like dang you know you 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 see the vision or what have you so when i get 50 in five years yes but she still is attractive what is y'all talking about oh no that's the boy that she's 50 how could you fumble that shut the fuck up shut the fuck up i ain't gonna lie neil long been bad since she was on whip right there with will smith on doggone uh what's the name man and also speaking of fumbling man happy birthday is it jay-z birthday i think it is jay-z birthday man but this i just found this hilarious when they said hey man there are grown men that believe that this dude was in possession of 92 bricks <laughs> this dude <laughs> Y'all think Jay-Z had them 92 bricks and lost them and had A1 credit and got it right back. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know uh, down in the comment section, man. But anyway, now we getting on to 2K. And, um, you know, we, we want to know. No, hold on, hold on. I had the wrong thing up there because somebody asked a question. Someone asked a question. This is what they asked first one. We got to go to the question first. The question is, did season three revive 2K20? For. for some people they saying yes og grandmaster sensei i don't know what he's saying man because he said have y'all have y'all been experiencing these uh these no courts yet or what have you i'm not gonna lie to y'all man it's still a three ball still cash wiping the pipe don't got the pipes on reserves activists but hey we just want to know they said are y'all experiencing no courts in uh season three a lot of people saying that it brought it back for them it's good for them some people are saying you know i can't rock with it you know it is what it is my boy dime works saying hey man he said this off ball stuff right here hey it's gonna be crazy in 2k25 man he said i can see it now uh you know uh you know these off balls and spot finders being viable i think a lot of people are already using those gambit has pretty much mastered it the go one way and go back the other way i need to get on that man you need to drop a video on that one man because i need to know that my boy splashy hey splashy just came straight out and said it. he said man the update is placebo bro they didn't hot fix nothing yeah it's just it's just all in your head and uh it's making you play better but plucks 
Uh, Pluck's still, uh, still uh, almost the same. Uh, BS is still going in on Hall of Fame. Contested shots, dang, they're going in more frequently. And the uh, only thing actually changed is takeover. And uh, Iggy Mo says, it's so much more delayed now. Uh, and then, then he says, it's uh, it's like they brought back the pre to uh, pre pre patch field, and then Dynasty says the shooting the shooting is definitely easy. And he said, uh, then Splashy said the funny thing is they brought back uh, they brought back the twenty percent boost they randomly took away from no meter. Uh, now everybody's chicken again, just as uh, just a useless change they never should have touched in the first place to diminish the no meter boost. And what I think it, what I think it is, man, is why shooting seems so much easier if they brought that since they did bring that back. It's like we've all gotten used to shooting in in with with zero room for error. So now that we got some room for error and like we trained in it's like going into the hyperbolic time chain, but you trained intense intensely for all that time and then now all of a sudden uh, you know, you have some room for error so you can hit, man. And that, that boy, Job Bridge, for if he just came back, he just said, man, I was shooting 35% before the update. Now I'm shooting 75% after the update. The skill gap uh, in shooting is basically gone. When I played, when I played wreck before the patch, I could tell someone was good based off of the shooting. Now it's impossible. And he said, hey, if the squad's playing defense, then the results of the game will, will determine. He said, no just shoot when somebody's playing defense on me and it's still green and and so like like he said and to prove his point this is what he uh this is what he dropped man he said he said don't matter if the, it don't matter they playing defense or not i just shoot and it's green and he said before the patch he never would have shot this and here we go with it uh bow there we go look shot right in the dude's face look at that and you know it's a human at first you would have thought it was a bot but you know that this is a human because and his hand down like joe Doe said if his hand down it's open like look he shot right in his face his hand was up didn't matter so and and you know it's a human because he did that did that and then he turned around and jumped so so we know that's a human it's not a bot right there like i said like he said look man this is crazy this is absolutely insane and then here we go here's another one he said i guess i should play better defense on this right here and so you got him coming down court jump right in my man's face there's three of them right there tray ball yeah and that's uh 57%, bro. That joker hit that 57%. Yo, he hit 57%. And so what Splash is saying, there's a lot of validity to it. Did I just do that right there? I don't know if I did it right or not, but hey, here we go. We're gonna we gonna hit it one more time. Bow. Look at that. 57%. Boom. So like like he said, man, it's a lot. It's a lot of chicanery going on out there right now, and a lot of other stuff. And then even Laker fan backs it up and he says, he says, uh, Look at this right here. He's like, bruh, bro, what's going on right here? This is what I need y'all to understand is going on right now, man. Like, look at, look at, everybody's in it now. Woo, look at that thing, that flotation device. 100%, yeah. He shot that with 100%, dude, right there in his face. And uh, yeah, cashed it, 100%. Look, right there on him. Flotation device, and boom, 100%. Yes, he did hit that. <laughs> I don't really know what's going on, man. I know people are enjoying the easier shooting and uh, the fact that you can actually hit some shots. Now, they said that there will be bigger penalties, but there are not bigger penalties. I think that they just, like, like I said, bro, I wish 2K would just do stuff and just leave it the way it is, bro, because so many times, come in, change something, they think they got it, and like they don't test it to the limit. So when you don't test things to the limit, like uh, like like we're gonna do, it just, it just makes it to the point where it's like, bro, I, I I don't know, but we know if you change one thing, it's gonna change everything. And like I said, everybody's a shooter now, so it is what it is. I, I really don't know what can be done about it if we wanna do anything about it or any of that stuff, man. Y'all gotta let me know down in the comment section because I feel like, I really do feel like in, in a lot of this, in a lot of these situations, this is like, they make these changes and it's either on or off. I told y'all that with, with 2K in the beginning, you're either gonna be able to hit everything or you're not gonna be able to really hit anything. Everybody's gonna be able to shoot or nobody's gonna be able to shoot, really. It's just like that. There is no scenario with 2K where the cream rises to the, where the cream, ooh, yeah. You think you want some of the macho men, Randy Savage, the cream rises to the top. Uh, where you, you go out there and you play in 2K and the cream rises to the top. You know, it, it just doesn't happen man like it's just not no scenario where that happens either everybody's bad or everybody's good everybody's missing or nobody can miss so 
hey, with the Call of Duty aspect of it right here where everybody can shoot, man, I really don't care. I told y'all what they were gonna do. I told y'all that everybody was gonna be able to shoot and this is gonna be the easiest time to shoot in 2K because after Black Friday, when everybody bought the game, they need to encourage people to continue to make bills. They don't wanna turn off the super casuals or what have you, right? And then Christmas is coming up, them Christmas news, they need that money, man. Like we already seen that they've been giving the game away for free and doggone dropping the prices and stuff. You know what it is. So they're gonna make it easier for the masses to be able to be successful because the 99% of the people, when you take a survey, why I stopped playing 2K, it's because the shooting is far too difficult. I ain't got no problem with it, man. I can I can figure it out and I have figured it out. It is irritating. It did annoy me at some times, but you know, it is what it is, man. But like, I don't know if this is the right way, but whatever it is, just leave it like it is, man. And we'll adjust, bro. Dang, just stop messing with it. Whatever it is, you can't, you can't say you can satisfy some of the people, uh, all of the people, some of the time, some of the people, all of the time, but not all of the people, all of the time. That's it. Just, just, just leave it how it is. We'll figure it out. And uh, we'll go from there, man. Let me know what y'all think now in the comment section. I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop. BK, the people's champ. Guys, speak. Guys, speak.